Hello and welcome back to another Elementor tutorial and today we are going to be doing a very simple, I want to say simple, but quite interesting tutorial on background color change on page scroll. That was a mouthful, but I think this is pretty useful and I think it can add a little bit of dazzle to your website if you are into that. So <laughs> let's get into it. All right, so this is what we are making today and I think this is pretty cool and could be used in many creative ways on websites. So let's get into it. There's some code involved in this process and we will see the code in a bit, but unfortunately we will not see this happening in the editor because the JavaScript is being actually not loaded in the editor in the preview. All right, I have to say that I filmed this video a few months back, but I deleted the files and now I have to film it again for you guys because it needs to be in our library. It's like a basic thing that you need uh, as a web designer for Elementor. Okay, enough with babbling. All right, what you need to do basically is create a section and give this section a height. I gave it a 98 VH height and basically all sections have the same size. I have have I have one, two, three, four sections on my page and we are going to be giving each section a CSS class. Each section will have the same CSS class. Please remember this. As you can see, this section has the class of panel, then the second section has the same class and so on. I don't have to show you all, right? You believe me, right? <laughs> all right, okay. And at uh, the end of this, we are going to be adding, let me show you how the structure looks like. So one, two, three, four, five. In the fifth section, we are going to be adding an HTML element, which you can find right here if i have it saved in my uh, favorites but if you don't find it you can just search for it like so all right i hope you got that so in this html section we are going to be adding this code. This code will be in the description below and I'm planning to add all these tutorials on my website so it's going to be easier to reference back than having the um, Notion file but for now I will leave it in this description in the Notion file and we will see this in the future. All right so as you can see here in the code we have in brackets the class of each section which is one class for all the sections right okay and we also have the body mentioned right here it's self-explanatory right so let's move on to size settings and we will see what is in the custom css for the body so except for the font family this is from another tutorial that i had here you don't have to have two body tags here you can have only one obviously and you should have only one and add the background color this is my background color and the transition as you see here. And we have some important elements here that I want to explain because these are very important. Basically, these are the colors of each section that change on scroll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this page so we don't go back and forth on the same page. And I want to show you where these codes basically go. So as you can see, there's a class and it's called color copper and there's another one purple orange red okay so we are back in the editor so let's see where this code goes and if you go to advanced and navigate to attributes you will see here that we have a data color and the pipe sign and copper and let's unpack a little bit this this is a data attribute and if you want to learn more about data attributes you can find it here on the v3 school schools and you will see the definition of data and it's pretty self-explanatory and i will leave this link in the description below for you to read up but in the meantime let's see what you can change and what you should not change in order for this to work so if i go back to our code we see here that we have the color and copper so this uh, this become data color pipe copper so the word data needs to be present otherwise this will not work i hope you understand that you will do the same thing for each section let's go to the green 
section, which is not really green. And let's go to advanced and let's go to attributes. And we have data color purple. Let's go back to our code and we see here color purple. If you want to add more sections, you will use your own class, but make sure that once you add in the data and you will add it like this. So data, whatever it is, you have to add a descriptive name to this class. So let's say data text, I'm gonna just copy the pipe sign and say red, okay? So in this case, you'll go here and you add red text and whatever your code is for this. Let's just say is this, okay? And we're not gonna say background color, we're gonna say just color because this is what you would use to color the text. So I hope this is understood and it's clear. I will just, actually I will delete it because it makes no sense to have it there. And let me know in, com in the comments below if there's something that you don't understand about this. Also, I also recommend to leave this property on here because this basically overrides all other styles that are given to this particular section when it comes to background color so it will take effect no matter what i hope it makes sense i will leave a link in the description below about the importance of important and why and when you should use it okay for demonstration purposes let let's add a new section and i will simply duplicate this section and I will change the text to let's say red and I will select the color from my tool here let's choose this color it's not the breast but okay at least we're gonna see the difference and I'm going to go to our codes here and I'm going to give this a color pink descriptive right and background color our color and let's copy the hashtag and also add this and it seems like something is wrong with the code the color code let's go again aha uh -huh. okay i think i'm missing something okay now it's fine okay so what we are going to do is we are going to go in the advanced section. We're going to change the class to panel. Make sure to change that if it's not the right one. And I'm going to change data color to pink. And this should take effect. All right. All right. All right. Let's see and let's preview the changes and there's something on here i forgot to update all right and here we are it's pretty easy right okay don't come for me if this doesn't work on your website to be honest i'm not the best at javascript but i understand a few things and i can't make things work anyway let me know if you have any questions uh, as always the code will be in the description below and i hope you like this and you find it useful for your next project if you'd like to see what else you can achieve with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time